fuel prices what they are, it's not easy staying air-to-air -air refueling proficient in your favorite F-35. To help out, Red 6 created a new generation of augmented reality that allows pilots in real aircraft to see both virtual targets and friendlies, as well as a wingman and other avatars in daylight. And I will tell you, when we fly people in our experimental airplane and we pull up next to an avatar, if we get too close, they will flinch. It's, it's, it's very lifelike training. Uh, and that's what uh, you know is, makes it so significant and impactful and compelling. Until Red 6's recent development, AR exercises were limited to dark rooms because AR systems couldn't be made bright enough to overcome daylight. The engineers uh, that we have at the company have just been incredible and they're very experienced and been working this for a number of years. So we have a video that we'll actually see an avatar fly through the sun and you can see the avatar the entire time. Uh, there's no one else in the world that's capable of doing that right now. The company uses experimental Barracoot 540s to train pilots in formation flying and aerial refueling, for example. Flights in the high-performance Barracoots helps pilots experience the G-loads and flight control forces not possible in a simulator. The technology makes training more efficient and effective. We have a business case that shows you can reduce the number of hours, and you can do that because we can tailor the training. Instead of every syllabus being the same, I can tailor it to a student's specific strengths and weaknesses. And by doing that, it's going to have a higher level of training. I can, I can reduce some of the rides. So by reducing some of the stories, I can produce more pilots per year in the same amount of time. And so one, it's going to be able to get after that pilot shortage to a certain degree while we train pilots at a higher level. While Red 6's primary audience for such technology is currently the military, the technology could be used to support civilian training as well. All of us, right, need visual references. You know, I've had, I've had young students fly a pylon turn around a crop circle, you know, hundreds of times. Well, imagine if they could see that through whatever device we would have them wearing, uh, you know, a pair of sunglasses, for instance, where it's displayed. And as, as the instructor, you know, I could turn that on or turn that off as needed. Same for, you know, steep turns or acrobatics. So the use cases are very broad for the augmented reality technology. The technology runs on a fairly basic computer and can be projected on many different types of devices, not just expensive and heavy military helmets with visors. The company is currently focused on fulfilling its military contracts, but will eventually seek civilian opportunities. Tom Haynes, AOPA Pilot.